What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with another review. I have my iPad Pro 11 right here, and on this side, this is a six-in-one USB Type-C hub that I just got in from Geared. Let's check them out. As I mentioned, this is a hub that I just got in. I've already unboxed it, I have it right here. But let's talk a little bit about this hub. Now, it's a six-in-one USB Type-C hub. It actually is, is one of the more powerful hubs that I've seen. And I'll tell you why. On the back, if you look at these actual tech specs, it goes up to 100 watts of PD charging, guys. So it has a USB Type-C power pass-through. It has USB Type-C cable. It has HDMI port three, count them, three, USB Type-A 3.0 ports. Has a micro SD card slot, SD card slot, everything that you would need, this actually has it. And when I saw that it had 100 watts max power pass-through, I had to jump on it because with that 100 watts pass through or that PD charging, you're going to be able to charge your larger devices such as your MacBook Pro. So your MacBook Pro will actually, everybody knows that these have one, two, three, four, four of the USB type C ports, two on each side. This will hook directly into the MacBook. No questions asked, no problems there hooks either way no problems now macbook we know it has great storage it's fast it's capable it can handle all of that plus you get the pd charging over there but when it comes to ipad os which will be coming out in the fall it will be a great thing to have now i've shown you tons of different types of hubs all of them are pretty good. They all do the same. We know what they're gonna do. They're gonna allow you to use your expandable memory on your device to go, right? So counting them up, one, two, three, USB type A 3.0s right here, micro and SD card slot right there. And on the end, you got your HDMI port. Now, where most of these hubs actually fail is that they don't have this 90 degree angle. So when you put this in your iPad, which I'm gonna hook it in right here, if I can find the slot, boom, got it hooked in. Now, this basically, and I'm gonna cut over here, sits right down here. So it's no awkward positioning. It goes from this nice 90 degree angle right here, and this sits right out here. Let's see how this actually works because I found that this is really comfortable when you're typing. It's not in the way. Your hands lay right here. It sits over here. Anything that you have connected to it is gonna be sitting out here. Unless you choose to use your power pass through while you're doing this, it will sit over here on this side, but you can always just turn this to the outside. Still, there's nothing hindering your hand, nothing in the way. Now this form factor is really nice and it's, look at how shiny and glossy this is guys. It is a fingerprint magnet, but it is a beautiful piece of machinery. And then on the bottom you have these nice rubber grips. They're gonna keep it from sliding around while it's on a table. So I don't really feel the need to go through all of the ports, all the slots. I know someone is gonna be upset about that. I'm going to actually hook up the power pass through this just to show you guys that it is gonna be charging my device. Another thing I wanted to point out to you guys is this right here. So if you take a quick look right there, there is a LED light that pops up as soon as it is connected and it's letting you know that little blue LED light is going to pop up. You are going to know that you are connected to whatever device you're on. Power pass through right here. You heard my iPad, it's charging up. So up to 100 watts, guys. This charger that I'm using over here is a 60 watt charger. So that's the max, but it can go up to 100 watts. And then, like I said, you have your USB type A ports over here. So I have three USB type A. I do wanna show you that they will work, they will pop up. I'm also gonna plug in an SD card as well, just to show you that they work. Um, let's go ahead and open this up. 
got my files open and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start plugging these in. Okay, so that's one. Now, this is two. And this is, let's see if we can get it, three. Now, there are three USB ports right here together. Uh, it fits really snug in there when you do that, guys. So these are older. This is an older model right here. These are a little bit more bulky. They do make them more streamlined now. If you have the more streamlined ones, you can get three in there, no problem. And then SD card slot right there. It is plugged in. Now I want to show you that all four of these um, portable devices are plugged in these expandable memories. I'm going to actually grab my iPad and I'm flip it over and I'm going to bring it closer to the screen. And I want you to notice, take notice of this, the Kingston, the disc image one, disc image one, or disc image, disc image one, and Nikon D3200. All four of these are plugged up. You can scroll through all of them. There's nothing on this one and the Kingston has nothing on it, but it is reading, it is available. So all four of those are plugged up and you can simultaneously go back and forth and do things, whatever you need to do, transfer and data, put them on, do whatever you gotta do at any time. Uh, I'm not gonna plug HDMI out. We know what that does. It's just gonna mirror the screen. It's not gonna mirror it in the full screen that you're gonna show it on, but it's gonna be a scaled down version. I don't think we need to go through all that. So as mentioned guys, this is the Gearit 6-in-1 USB Type-C hub. It's great for your iPad with iPad OS. Really great for your MacBook. You can plug it in on either side. It's no hindrance. And with that 90 degree angle on there, it's gonna make everything really, really easy. Great little device. I'll drop a link below so you can go check it out for yourself. But until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.